Uh oh, C Dub, yeah, yeah. What you know? We got a new bottle this year. MCF, money comes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up? What up? What up? Y'all already know it's the man about town, Virgil Berry, aka Stacks with the facts. And y'all know y'all tapping in with another episode of Eight hey, Real Talk Podcast. It's gonna be a real brief one. I'm on my way to the gym to get this money in. So, you know, I'm just fresh off of work, going to, to the gym to get some more work in. But today, we're talking about Chesley Christ, uh, who allegedly fell to her death after falling out of her window in her apartment building in New York. Now, it's crazy how... They were in this whole situation. First of all, smash that like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the page. Rest in the essence to Chesley Christ, right? Rest in the essence to the sister, right? But I just find a lot of loopholes and a lot of hmm, right? Now, this girl was the 2019 Miss America pageant winner, right? Uh, she was a graduate of Wake Forest University Law School where she had an MBA in law. You know what I mean? She uh, was a uh, correspondent for Extra. You know the TV show Extra? Extra, uh, I want to say, is on NBC, which is owned by Viacom. Anyway. And uh, she allegedly fell to her death. Committed suicide, allegedly. Now, a lot of people were saying suicide, but if it was suicide, that would mean she jumped and not fell. So I think that's very, 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 very odd and strange that they use that language right there. Um, when I be hearing these type of stories, y'all, my spider senses be going off. So I instantly started digging. And lo and behold, come to find out, when she was at the prestigious Wake Forest University Law School, right? where she earned her MBA. She became a member of a very prestigious fraternity sorority called Alpha Phi Delta. Well, my fault, Alpha Lambda Delta, uh, which was founded by this lady, right? Um, I be telling y'all, y'all gotta do y'all research into this stuff. Now, I do my research into who this lady, uh, Maria Leonard, uh, she was the founder of Alpha Lambda Delta. And she was also a, a, a asset of the Rothschild family on behalf of the Rockefeller Institute. Uh, she was also a very strong supporter of Margaret Sanger. Got to connect the dots on these people, man. What I'm saying about our sister fallen sister and literally fallen Chesley Chris is that I'm pretty sure some strange stuff around her death man because she left a cryptic uh, op-ed letter in the 30 under 30 in the lore magazine not too long ago and you know it was just real weird it was real strange she was talking about how when you get to be 30 years old society just pushes women to the side like 30 is extra old and uh, she also made a real very cryptic post on Instagram not too long before she committed suicide, allegedly. Talking about some rest in peace or find your peace or I hope you rest and make peace or something like that. It's crazy, man. All I'm saying is this. We have to look into these people's backgrounds, who their family is. Her dad, her dad's name was Robert or uh, Ronald Christ. He's a Polish-American guy who is said to have been a Polish-American bodybuilder. And he moved to America and got with her mother, who was used to all, who was also a, a black lady who was a beauty a pageant queen. I couldn't find no information on this Ronald Pierce dude, Chris dude. I couldn't find no information on him. Uh, there's very few pictures of him. And I couldn't find if he was related or connected to any people of Polish descent. You know, like, 
George Soros or somebody like that, right? Uh, and this is just what I'm going to say right here. It's kind of early. This literally just happened yesterday. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging as some information comes out. But I'm telling y'all right now, what I'm saying right now is just me. I'm not saying anything as far as connected or anything. What I'm saying is we got to do our due diligence, right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure as this information comes out and uh, as to why she allegedly committed suicide and we can't even really confirm or deny that she committed suicide because like I say by the language that they're using in the uh, tabloids in the media outlets they say she failed to her death not she jumped so did she commit suicide or was she pushed the main question we always got to ask in these situations is qui bono who benefits who could possibly benefit from Chesley Christ no longer being here, right? What type of law cases was she involved with with her law firm? Or what situations at extra was she involved with that could possibly cause her to kill herself or be involved with something with maybe some higher up people? Oh, I'm definitely gonna do my due diligence, but I'm just making this video to tell y'all like I always do is to question everything. I smell a rat, right? My spidey sense is super, super tingling. And I'm telling y'all it's a trick to it. So tap in and walk with me, man. As I get more information, I'm gonna let y'all know. But like I say, y'all, question everything and do your due diligence. Connect the dots on unseemingly related people, places, events, organizations. Then you ask yourself, Qui Bono, who benefits from what we're being told to believe about this situation? You already know what it is, man. Shouts out to my homeboy, Red Supreme TV One, cooking the day. Shouts out to my brother, Mr. O, in the Ozone Podcast. Of course, always shouts out to my, shouts out to Fantastic Trill TV for keeping her foot on the neck of all you pro abortion demons and I'm gonna say what it is because anybody who would ever advocate for the murdering of unborn children you got demons on you and I'm gonna say that right now as I always know man hit that like button like uh, hit that like button smash that like button share on your social engineering you know what I mean click on the bell subscribe to the page man you know what I mean if anybody was looking forward to tapping in last Friday for the listening party, look, I'm going to have to postpone that to next Friday because I had some stuff I had to end up taking care of Friday and last minute I had to go handle it. So anybody, I apologize for that. This Friday coming up, we're going to do it again. We're going to get it in again on this Friday. So y'all just stay tapped in with a Real Talk Podcast. Like I said, she, she God stacks with the facts, man. Virgil Berry, a.k.a. stacks with the facts. Y'all make sure y'all tap in and walk with me, man. Hey.